I want to start off by saying I'm sorry. Um, my roommate was doing a photo shoot earlier and the fire alarm kept going off, so we took him down and now they beep nonstop. Anyway, today I want to introduce you guys to Jacqueline Cochran. Um, short intro, Jacqueline Cochran was an American pilot who held more speed, distance, and altitude records than any other flyer during her career, which her career was between 1906 and 1980. Um, on May 18th of 1953, she flew an aircraft faster than any woman had before, breaking the sound barrier. And then a little about her early life, uh, according to the book I got in the library uh, called Woman of the Air, the exact date of Jacqueline Cochran's birth was a mystery, although according to the internet and Britannica, it uh, says uh, it was May 11th, 1906. Um, again, like I said, sometimes she would say she was born in 1906 and other times she would say she was born in 1910, but looking at like how like her life went on, like the timeline, it makes sense that she was born in 1906. Um, so her birth name was Bessie Lee Pittman, but she changed her name when she was when she got married, uh, and that became Jacqueline Cochran Old Odlum. I mean, um, she claimed to be adopted, but later in life it was discovered that she grew up with her birth parents. Um, says so that she grew up in poverty and had little formal education, and um, also that she was often dressed in old sacking, and uh, slept on the floor. Um, continuing, uh, when she was eight, they moved to Georgia, where she worked on a cotton mill. And then at the age of 14, uh, she married Robert Cochran. Um, while they were married, they had a son, and they named him Robert Jr. Uh, but sadly, the couple got divorced in 1927. And then following the divorce, um, she began training as a beautician. Um, and on to her career, uh, after training as, to be a beautician, beautician, she moved to New York in 1931. Um, she moved because back then New York was the best place to uh, make a fortune. And she thought her hair and beauty, I mean, her yeah, hair and beauty business um, would thrive there. Um, and then, crazy enough, Jacqueline Cochran got her pilot's license, I mean, pilot certification, goodness, and... Um, Three weeks um, over her holiday, like summer, like that. Um, and then she improved her skills with Ted Marshall, who was a Navy pilot from a Navy pilot friend from San Diego, California. And simultaneously, she organized a cosmetics firm, firm called Jacqueline Cochran Cosmetics. Uh, since it grew and pop prospered, uh, she sold it in 1963. Um, and then continuing with her career, uh, in 1935, she was the first woman to enter the Bendix Transcontinental Air Race. And then in 1937, she came in third. Um, also in 1937, in a fabric-covered biplane with neither heating pressurization nor oxygen masks, uh, she burst a blood vessel in her sinus. Although this is very bad, um, it later led to cabin pressurization and the use of oxygen masks. Um, and then Cochran went uh, on to win the Bendix Transcontinental Air Race Trophy in 1938 while flying a Seversky pursuit plane. And then in 41, she flew a bomber to England um, and then ended up staying for a while. Uh, there she trained female pilots in England um, for, the for, uh, for the war uh, transport service. And then soon after doing that, she returned to the U.S. Um, and was invited to the White House in order to discuss the role of women, uh, in order to discuss the role of women pilots um, in the Army. I mean, in the war, I bet. Um, and then she began working with the Army uh, forces in July of 1943. Okay, so some of her achievements. Jacqueline Cochran was a uh, named director of the Women Air Force Service Pilots, the WASPs. And then after the war and the end of her service, she became the first woman civilian to be awarded the Distinguished Service Medal um, in 1945. And then in um, 47, she met Charles Yeager, um, which he was the first male to ever break the sound barrier. Um, she helped her with that. Um, and then just a fun detail from the book. It, they often flew Canadian sabers, 
and it was detailed that the planes would always smell like her perfume because they were very smelly and so she would bring her perfume and smell and spray them in it spray it in them um so yeah and then in uh, 53 she transitioned to jet aircrafts and then soon after that she broke the sound barrier piloting an f-86 super jet um yeah and then in 61 she broke the altitude mark record at 55,253 feet and then in 1964 she broke the standing women's world record speed in uh an f-104g super star jet which she was traveling 14,000 wait 1,429 uh miles per hour craziness and then moving on to her legacy, uh, Cochrane wrote an autobiography called The Star That Knew about her life. And then in 69, she was promoted to the colonel in the reserve uh, in the year after she retired. Uh, after retirement, she continued as a NASA, NASA consultant. And then in 65, she was inducted into the International Aerospace Hall of Fame. And then in 71, she was inducted into the U.S. Aviation um, Hall of Fame. Craziest. And then um, another cool fact uh, for Life Magazine, uh, or it was documented in Life Magazine, Heger and Cochran um, did a sim simultaneous flight at 50,000 feet in the air at full throttle, uh, nose diving. And um, like they both participated in a supersonic duet, like the, the sonic boom at the same time. Pretty cool. Um, sadly, her, um, um, when she passed away, it was kind of like a sad way to pass away. In her 60s, she was diagnosed with a serious heart condition, which forced her to stop flying. And then during it, she became so unbear so unbearable that many people didn't really want to be around her anymore. Um, so much so that only 14 people attended her funeral. Uh... Even given that, um, Chuck Yeager and her his wife still remained pretty close to her, and I want to close by uh, saying, like some of the words that Chuck Yeager described her with. Um, so in Chuck Yeager's words, uh, when Jackie Hawkins put her mind to do something, she was a Sherman tank at full speed. And then this is a picture of a Sherman tank. I'll give you some visualization. There are my references. Thank you.